setting a very concrete, objective, measurable goal, right? That the team knows if it's achieving it and the world knows if it's achieving it. So much. Uh, good morning, everybody. You all energized? I saw that video. I thought I'd quit as secretary and become an entrepreneur. <laughs> I was all charged up. So I'll start with two things. The first is a thank you to President Obama, Secretary Kerry, State Department folks, White House. All the folks who put an event like this together, it's a huge amount of work. Let's give them a hand. The second thing is, a quote from Muhammad Yunus, who is one of my heroes, is all humans are born entrepreneurs. And I opened my first book to start off with you with this, because this is important when we think about this. Entrepreneurship has always been important to human endeavor. Thank you. Uh, thank you to the President for convening the Global Entrepreneurship Summit and to Stanford for hosting. Uh, we at Google are proud to be supporting this summit and we are passionate. So good morning and we're going to get started in a second. Travis, you want to say a couple words before I ask you some questions? I mean, I'm glad to be here. This is, uh, for a morning meeting, this is, there's a lot of energy in the room. <laughs> this is, what's going on? I want, to be on, I want to be in the audience. I know. They are wide awake. And Airbnb. And ADP. The founder and partner of Cobble. I said yes. And he said, I hope that's not the only idea you're working on. <laughs> I also have a serial idea. Yes, exactly. And so um, we, this idea literally like, did not work for a long time. In fact, we launched and like three people used it. So we worked. We like, started rebuilding the website. We launched again. And then two people used it. And I was actually one of those two people. So that was really good. So then we launched a third time, and we had like 80 people use it for the Democratic National Convention in 2008. We had like one weekend of business. The following weekend, we had nobody using it again. And I realized if only there were like political conferences, political conventions, every week we'd have a business. Within a year and a half of you doing Airbnb, I remember totally running out of money. I used to have a binder that kids used to put baseball cards in, and Joe and I used to put credit cards in them. And we just literally were funding company of credit cards. We ended up meeting investors. We met like 10 or so uh, uh, angel investors. We were trying to sell 10% of the company for about $100,000, $150,000. Oh my gosh, that kills me. And, I wish I had a time machine. Exactly. I would write your check right now. We couldn't even get a meeting. <laughs> and so eventually, we just started to continue to fund the company ourselves. We literally made like, collectible breakfast cereal to fund the company. We called ourselves cereal entrepreneurs. Um, <laughs> and it, we literally went door by door meeting our customers, and that's how it started taking no, off. What? Uh, but that has no comparison with what's happening in China. China is so dynamic, so in the last 11 years, uh, since 2005, I can see how many changes every day. We see new companies, we see new opportunities, we also see a lot of Being uh, here with Helen, first of all, and then to share insights with such an elite group here, and it's just an honor to be here. And I really echo what Mr. Deng uh, said about China and the difference between China and the U.S. A very particular real possibility that there won't be a company unless we do something about it. Now, so, uh, three of the uh, four apps um, teach um, people about litter and what does the environment and oceans. All about littering, wow! Yeah. And you, like all entrepreneurs, you really kind of took some time. You're like, well, the app, it, it integrates, uh, I would say, yeah, I like that. It seems like we got a future in this business, I like that. So three of the four are about littering. Like so many of you, get an idea and you build a team and you work to turn it into reality. 
and you launch products and companies and entire industries that transform the world. That's the power of entrepreneurship. And it's never been more important. We've helped more than 17,000 entrepreneurs and innovators connect with each other, access capital, find mentors, and start new ventures. 17,000. <laughs> It was a good-looking group. <laughs> and I could not wear a t-shirt like Mark <laughs> for at least another six months. But I will take off my jacket. So, uh, <laughs> soon. soon. And soon. It's going to happen soon. Well, it's really inspiring to be here with so many great entrepreneurs. And, uh, you know, to hear about all the work that you're doing, it's, it's an honor. So thanks for, for having me. You know, to me, entrepreneurship is about creating change, not just creating companies. And, you know, the, the most effective entrepreneurs that, who, who I've met care deeply about some mission and some change that they're trying to create. And often they don't even start because they're trying to create a company. Right? And, you know, that's how, how I think about, um, you know, my connection to, to all, all of us here is, you know, I was getting started. I, um, and I want it, I care deeply about giving everyone uh, a voice right? and giving people the tools to share everything that they cared about and uh, bringing a community together. And, you know, it started small in, in one university. And I didn't think it was going to be entrepreneurs and seeing the global ideas out there. So I'm really thrilled to be here today. Um, and I think one of the challenges as an entrepreneur is like communication. Like you're a startup, people don't know what you're doing. And so the more that people know, the more they understand your vision, uh, it, it's a very effective To a conclusion, and it's been great to be able to hear directly from President Obama, Secretary Kerry, Secretary Prisker, and so many other distinguished government and business leaders that have helped to make this event such a success.